Guys, it's like they put the ocean in a Tupperware container. It's a real nice souvenir. Sometimes it's just too much ocean all at once and you need to take some home for later. This piece is called The Wave and it's in Korea. It's actually the world's largest 3D wave. Is there like a lot of competition for that? Because this is the first one I've ever seen. I can't believe it's made of projections. It looks so real. Wait, am I a projection? This art sculpture is called the Wings of Glory, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a giant sky pony. It also shoots flames from its tail as if being a giant flying horse wasn't enough. Show off. It's beautiful, but also it makes me really glad that horses don't fly IRL. Imagine what air horse poop would be like. <laughs> Whoa, have you ever wanted to live inside the internet? Cause this installation can help. Only with like way fewer memes. I wonder if they'd kick me out for aggressive dancing. Cause that's all I would want to do in there. Twirl and vibe. What are these weird balloons? I don't get it guys. Why would you leave the tip like that? Blow your balloon all the way. You guys ever seen a balloon like this? I think I saw one once in my roommate's trash can in college. They must have been in the middle of an art project. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but sometimes this museum seems super safe. I just can't put my finger on it. Uh, oh, I'm well, moving on. One time I tripped while carrying my homework in high school and I swear this is what it looked like. Exactly like this. Except it turns out that this is 2,600 real college diplomas. Good for those guys. Apparently the amount of diplomas equals $470 million in student loan debt. Suddenly this became a horror show. Just when I thought the scariest thing about Burning Man was thousands of people walking around in heat without showering, this came along. The line between fine art and something out of my nightmare has never been thinner. I love how like some artists are like content with like painting trees or like bowls of fruit and this guy's like nah. I want to make a giant flaming octopus. Kind of sick. Sick bee too. I could lay down a sick free cell to this. But I'm not going to. But I could. Found a jumbo jet in the middle of the desert. Sick. You could go through boarding and then security. And then you could fly the plane? You mean they just let anybody fly the plane? <laughs> Maybe that's why it crashed in the first place. Okay, this is drone holographic light shows in Russia. What? This is what 2,198 drones looks like. If this happened in your city, how would you react? I would assume it's aliens. And start looking for a bunker. Okay, I don't know Russian, but I can only assume that this says 2020, the year we use our city's entire budget on light drones. We'll fix potholes next year. <laughs> totally worth it, I say. Look at those shapes. I wonder how much it would cost to have them spell it. It's all the fun of the splash zone with none of the cleanup. I'd be so distracted if I worked here. Everyone would be like, ah, as he's at the wall again. But like, do you blame me? It's hypnotizing. Look at that. Oh, sweet. Regular balloons. Not like those weird ones in that other video. If I ever fall out of the plane, I hope I'd land right on top of this. This is so cool. Also, I was today years old when I found out they made brown balloons. Also, like, what are they making? I'm a little nervous. Because right now it looks a little like Intessa. <laughs> I don't think it will be, guys. Don't worry. I'm sorry I put that in your head. Oh, wait, that looks like a tail. Is this gonna be? A dinosaur? It looks like it's gonna be a dinosaur. I think it's gonna be that. Oh my god, I think it's gonna be a dinosaur. <sighs> I was way off of the intestine though. Guys, apparently it's 150,000 balloons. How do you think they blew up all these balloons? Do you think they have a machine or just like one really tired guy named Bob? Thank you for your service, Bob. I love how they said it took 34 artists and two college students to finish it. That means two people were just walking into the mall and somebody was like, hey kids, wanna make a giant dinosaur? How could you say no to that? Is this a plant? A cloud? A selfie taken from a really unflattering angle? Oh, of course, it's a blippity bloppity boo. I have no idea what this is. Okay, guys, I figured it out. It's an elephant. I'll never forget this elephant. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually saw this when I was in Tulum. It's even cooler IRL. You can, like, just walk into the heart. Like, kind of how I feel when one of you guys leaves a nice car. It's nice feeling. It's great. Okay, somebody in Denver made this cool mad scientist DJ station. <gasps> What's the first song you spin here? Tell me in the comments. <gasps> Didn't they have money on vinyl? <laughs> also, why does it feel like a rave that you Yoda would throw. This is similar like that Tulum piece we saw earlier, but in Fort Lauderdale. It's by an artist named Daniel Popper. That's such a fun name. And honestly, how could you not be an artist with a name like that? Like you can't just be like Daniel Popper accountant. <laughs> you need to do something fun. Okay, I've seen this clock in Amsterdam. Fun fact, this is actually how clocks work. You just can't usually see it. This little guy works 24 seven. And if he's late, you're also late. I guess you can call him the minute man. Hope he gets paid by the hour. I'm joking, that's not how clocks work. It's like gears and stuff, unless they're digital. This this guy's face is such a Monday mood. A big Da Vinci head with lots of like little Da Vinci art inside. I wonder what the me version of this would look like. I think if you looked inside of my head, it would just be like memes and like food orders with generous sprinklings of glitter and anxiety. Who wants to sculpt that? Comment on the comments. Ooh, I love art you can play with. Also a bonus because I won't get in trouble like that time security escorted me out for playing tag with the Mona Lisa. <laughs> She's smiling like that because
because she's still it. I see you. Oh, wow, what a good boy. It's Spot. Also, I think this is what dogs actually think will happen if they catch the car they're chasing. Hard nope on this. I don't even like small scorpion. Can you guys burn this one early, please? I don't trust anything with that many legs. Like, what would you do if it was chasing you? You would need like a giant bottle of mechanical rage. <laughs> JK, I don't like killing bugs. I just cry until somebody else kills it for me. JK, I don't like when that happens either. I capture them in glasses and set them free outside and tell them to never come back. They usually listen, fun facts. If I ask something nice enough, they listen. That makes me sound insane, but truth. Whoa, mushroom. What happens when she steps on there? I'm kind of nervous. Is it moving? That must be a little trippy. <laughs> I love how slow and soothing it is. Honestly, I could stay there all day long. Aw, giant sand, baby. Be quiet, let him sleep. Relatable. Just don't want to be around when he needs a diaper change. Who knew art could be so delicious? Break me a slice of the art. Oh, oh, I've seen this before. It looks like a bunch of dots, but then when you turn around and look at it from a different angle, it becomes a face. <laughs> That just goes to show you that to some people, you may just be a pile of dots, but to the other person, you're a work of art. This sculpture is called Support, and I googled it, and it's supposed to like symbolize how humans can help with global warm warming. So give Earth a hand and help me talk. What is this? It's like a giant piece of gum. Hey. So what happens when you swallow gum? Or when you stick it under tables like you're not supposed to? Don't do that. I know, I know. I've been watching. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That sounds so creepy. Okay, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, Records. We apparently have a TikTok now. This is the tallest 3D printed sculpture of a human. It's 11 feet tall, so you deaf swipe right. <laughs> Not joking. Oh man, but wait, I'm confused. How is it staying up there? What just happened? What did I just see? Either giant toilet or very small man. I can't believe that's all chalk. That's amazing. That's a major glow up for the chalk community. You're bigger than hopscotch now. It's like if that Tulum statue and Burning Man statue had a baby, a giant baby. Now she's smiling because she's smug. She's not a chalk toilet. Hey, some of us are chalk toilets and some of us are chalk Mona Lisa's. Does that make sense? Probably not. Ooh, these are crystal prisms on the streets of New York. Oh, they make great furniture, decorations, things. I don't know, I just wanna look at them. And they dance too. Honestly, best thing to happen in the streets of New York since Pizza Rat. What? How far is Palm Springs? I need to go to that Popsicle Mountain like yesterday. So cool. Okay, car, go home. You're drunk. <laughs> this is what happens when you actually go too fast and too furious. Honestly, not impressed unless that dinosaur is made out of balloons. This compilation ruined me. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye. <laughs>